Hello my Woo friends. In this video I will show you all my modifications for the Beta FPV 75 Pro Whoop. I call it Beta FPV 75 Pro Butterfly FPV Edition. I think this Whoop is now pretty much maxed out and you can't do much more except maybe wind the motors by yourself to a higher KV, but that's about it. This Whoop is now 30 grams, below 30 grams and you can still save a little bit of weight by removing the USB ground for example or you can use a lighter canopy but I can't recommend it because of the durability. I have a very important message for you before I show you all the modifications in this video. You don't have to do all these modifications to be happy, the Beta FPV 75 Pro Whoop is a very good Whoop out of the box, very powerful, very efficient and you don't have to do the modifications to be happy, to have fun. Keep this in mind, my friends. Let's start with the most important modification, which is, believe it or not, AWG20 main cable. This will give you so much more power, efficiency, flight time and it's quite easy to do. You can solder it from the top before you solder on your VTX. This way it's quite an easy job to do and the effect is pretty impressive. And you should do these modifications on all your high KV race whoops. It is very very effective and very very important. I can't say it enough. It is very important. And by the way, your high performance LiPos do also use AWG20 main cable. Of course, you should use PT2 or A30 main connector for sure. The second best modification is to remove the motor plugs and solder on the motor cables directly to the solder pads on the board. This way you can save a little bit of weight and also gain a little bit of efficiency and less voltage sag and so on. Like with the AWG20 main cable. If you do this modification you should leave on the little crimped metal piece on the motor cables to make it stronger, to make the connection stronger. And you should also secure the motor cables with dental floss on the struts of your frame. This way you won't have any problems with fallen off motor cables. And in case you wonder, yes, you have to solder on the motors with the flight controller and motors placed in the frame. It's not possible to, to pull the motors through this hole in the frame, so you have to solder them placed in the frame. That's uh, one of the disadvantages of this modification. The third best modification is weight reduction. For example, on the canopy, like you can see here, I drill these holes with PCB drills and you can do it like this or different. It doesn't matter, but the goal should always be less weight but same or even better durability. You can also save a little bit of weight by drilling holes into the frame, like you can see here or here. You can also drill some small holes here in this area around the motors and you can also save weight here on the PT2 connector or on the casing of the PT2 connector. You can pull out the pins and then you can drill some holes and pull in the pins again. You can also save a little bit of weight by removing the USB ground you can save about 0.4 grams 
And last but not least, you can use some titanium screws, motor screws, M1.4 to 3.5 millimeters titanium motor screws. The fourth best modification is this propeller from Beta FPV, 45 millimeter propeller. And I can't say it is better than the stock Champan 45 millimeter propeller but it has a little bit better cornering it feels a little bit sharper in the air with the disadvantage of being a little bit louder so i can't say it is an overall better propeller but it is at least worth to try it out of course my friends you should always use the best high performance high c rate lipos you can find for your beta fpv 75 pro whoop for example, from GNB, 380 mAh 90C LiPo, or from also from GNB, 530 mAh 90C, or from Beta FPV Lava, 450 mAh 75C folded cell, or this one from Beta FPV Lava 550 mAh 75C. A little warning, if you are a full send pilot, I don't recommend you 450 mAh LiPos because I think you can burn the ESC on the board if you go full send outdoors. You should use 450 milliamp hour lipos and then I think you are pretty much safe and you won't burn a Nia C but I'm not sure with 550 milliamp hour lipos keep this in mind another option to tune your beta FPV 75 pro whoop is on the software side for example you can use the pit tune from UAFTech or you can use Throttle Cut Scale, Throttle Mid and Throttle Expo in Beta Flight to give your throttle a better feeling. But keep in mind you should always fly about 100 LiPos in between big changes in the settings to give your brain enough time to adapt to the new settings. Don't change your settings too quick and too often. I think that's about it my friends. I hope there was some value for you in this video and if so then please support my work in every way you can. Give me some feedback and keep flying my friends. I wish you a lot of fun with your Beta FPV 75 Pro Butterfly FPV Edition Race Whoop. You can see this whoop in action in the following DVR footage. My flying is all over the place and it sucks, but I think it is enough for you to see the power and potential of this whoop. I think you can imagine what this whoop can do in the hands of a very skilled pilot. That's enough for me. You can of course subscribe to this channel if you need more footage of this whoop. I think there will be more footage of this whoop in the future of my next flights and that's about it.